While the Democrats and the mainstream media are rushing to call the election for Joe Biden, the election is still far from over. Here's One America's Pearson Sharp. While well, Democrats defy coronavirus restrictions and pack the streets early to celebrate what they claim is a win for Joe Biden, it turns out the election is far from over. States are still being decided. In fact, as expected, North Carolina appears to be going for President Trump and was just called by Decision Desk HQ more than a week after the election. That gives President Trump another 15 electoral votes, taking him from 214 to 229. Now, to listen to the mainstream media, that still leaves President Trump well below the necessary 270 votes. Or does it? Here's the map according to AP and all the rest of the Democrat corporate media shills. Biden appears to safely control Arizona, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, with Georgia apparently tipping in his favor. All that gives Biden 290 electoral votes, a comfortable 61-point lead over Trump's 229, if we include North Carolina. But that's a very optimistic way of looking at things for the Democrats. The fact of the matter is, these states are still highly contested, despite what you're hearing in the news. Democrats and the mainstream media are terrified of President Trump winning again. So they're jumping the gun and calling these states early to try and solidify their win in the minds of the American people. Already, we've seen countless examples of massive voter fraud across the country. And these claims are being investigated and challenged by President Trump's team of lawyers, which could likely end up seeing the case taken all the way to the Supreme Court. What the map actually looks like is something more like this. Nevada, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Georgia are up in the air with definite signs they're leaning for President Trump. Many of these states are traditionally solid red, and it would be extremely surprising if Biden were to mysteriously flip them out from under President Trump. So now that takes Biden from 290 electoral votes back down to 227, less than President Trump's 229. So then, if those contested states, plus Alaska, end up voting as predicted and as they were leaning before the sudden midnight vote drops for Biden on election night, that takes Trump all the way up to 311 electoral votes. Suddenly, Trump's re-election doesn't seem so far-fetched after all. You have to remember, Democrats are dismissing claims that these states are contested. In their eyes, it's over, done, finished. You're not supposed to question the outcome when their guy wins. It's just a fact. But the problem is, it's not a fact, not even close. And with so many clear and irrefutable examples of voting fraud across the country, especially in battleground states like Pennsylvania, it's essential that the American people know without a shadow of a doubt that their election was fair and impartial and free from vote tampering. Until all the ballots are counted, all the legal ballots anyway, this election isn't over, no matter what the Democrats and the mainstream media want you to believe. For One America News, I'm Pearson Sharp. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.